embiggen, verb, to make larger. Cromulent, adjective, staggeringly adequate or suitable. History and etymology. Both of these words are neologisms, words that were created recently. In the case of embiggen and cromulent, they were both introduced to the public on February 18th, 1996, on an episode of The Simpsons entitled Lisa the Iconoclast. And in one scene, all of the students were gathered in the gymnasium watching an educational film on the history of Springfield. You've saved our fledgling community. Mr. Springfield, how can I hope to achieve such greatness? A noble spirit embiggens the smallest man. Yeah! Springfield rule! Way to go, Springfield! Embiggens? Hmm. Never heard that word before I moved to Springfield. I don't know why. It's a perfectly cromulent word. For this scene, the showrunner had asked the writers to invent two words that sounded like they were real but were completely made up. And embiggen and cromulent were the results. As it turns out, though, they only half succeeded in that goal of creating two new words. Embiggen had already been used in 1884 in a British publication. This really isn't surprising. They may not have realized it at the time, but when they were creating the word embiggen, they were really following well-established rules in the English language. Rules they probably learned when they were young children about adding prefixes and suffixes to create new words out of ones that already exist. The prefix M, a variant of the N prefix, when it comes before a P or a B, makes the word it's attached to into a verb. A couple of examples I found of this are words like an ambush, meaning to place in an ambush, an angle, to put in an angle or a corner, and cell, to enclose within a cell. Usually this prefix is attached to nouns to make them into verbs, but there's enough wiggle room in the English language that it can be applied other places as well. The suffix they chose in creating this word means exactly the same thing as the prefix. It turns the noun into a verb. But they did much better with cromulent on the other hand. It's far less rules-based. The suffix ulent seems to be an arbitrary selection from many words adopted from Latin. And what appears to be the root, crom, is complete nonsense. I couldn't find even a word related to it in any way. So to determine the meaning of the word cromulent, we're going to have to look at its usage in the episode. Here's the first time the word is used. I don't know why. It's a perfectly cromulent word. The way the word is used in this context would imply that the word means adequate, acceptable, suitable. Here's the second instance in which the word is used. Mm, he's embiggened that role with his cromulent performance. Top notch choir. I like how they managed to incorporate both of the words into this one sentence. But the way the word cromulent is used in this instance indicates that the subject that it's referring to has improved the performance somehow. And that's why I added the word staggeringly to the definition I've put out which isn't normally found in the definitions you can find on dictionary.com and the like. I feel like the word cromulent is meant to imply that it's still something above and beyond acceptable. It's like super acceptable. I guess the best way to say it is it's cromulent. Thank you for watching. Recently, someone was kind enough to head over to my Patreon and become a patron of the channel. All patrons pledging more than $2 have an opportunity to help select a word for me to add to the dictionary every month. And the first word selected by my patron was patron. That word certainly seems fitting, so you can look forward to that word coming up. If you're interested in becoming a patron of the channel, you can head over to the URL on the screen or follow the link in the description below. I also have links to other ways you can help support the channel. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. I might take them. I'll see you next time.